I think that incident in Switzerland was just an incident in Switzerland. I'm really sorry that it got blown up. I purposely did not mention the name of the store. I'm sorry that I said it was Switzerland. I was just referencing it, at, referencing it as an example of being in a place where people don't expect that you would be able to be there. And, you know, for me, racism doesn't show up. Nobody's going to come and call me the N-word to my face unless they're a thug on Twitter, you know, or Facebook. You got those Twitter thugs. And so when that, you know, nobody's going to do it. It doesn't show up that way. I was just saying it shows up for me differently. It shows up, I'm in a store, and the person and doesn't obviously know that I carry the black card. And so they make an assessment based upon the way I look and who I am and I cleaned up, I washed my hair and I put on my Donna Karen skirt because I know those people in the stores can be very snooty pooty, you know? So I thought, let me dress so I don't so I don't get turned away. And it happened anyway, so I guess I didn't dress up enough. And I didn't have anything that said, I have money. I wasn't wearing a diamond stud. I didn't have a pocketbook. I didn't wear a Louboutin shoe. I didn't have anything. I just had on a Donna Karen skirt and top and some sandals, you know? Which you should be able to go in a store looking like whatever you look like and say, I'd like to see this. That didn't happen. It's, it, it's not an indictment against the country or even that store. It just was, you know, one person who didn't want to offer me the opportunity to see the bag. So no apologies necessary from the country of Switzerland. If, if somebody makes a mistake in the United States, is, uh, are we apologizing for the whole country? No. What do you want people?